Hello YouTube, hello viewers, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jacqueline from the blog thedoggyperspective.com. If you're new here, on this channel we discuss pet food, specifically dog food and dog food reviews. Of course, all topics useful to pet parents are discussed here too. But each video focuses on nutrition and healthy dog food choices for your fur babies all right please like this video and give us a thumbs up and subscribe to continue receiving freshly uploaded content today's video focuses on research a new ingredient is being heavily considered for mass production and introduction to the pet food market as early as well we don't know this year next year our dogs taste test a lot of foods but this will surprise you let's get into it okay guys here's where science and technology and imagination meet this new ingredient has really crossed the line, or has it? You decide. The news is that a new ingredient named GNU100 currently is in its experimental stages. It's a good thing. It's for your pets, specifically your cats and your dogs. Let me tell you, this is breast milk. Human breast milk. Yep. You heard me. This is, this is the new game in dog food today. The researchers conducted a study and found out that milk oligosaccharide, which is a supplement that is now trending for infant formulas, may be beneficial for cats and dogs when added to pet diets. I'm not kidding. Now, at the University of Illinois, their research has provided a better understanding for folks on how milk can meet the nutritional needs of newborn kittens and newborn puppies, and how it can help promote gut immunity and establish a healthy gut microbial community early in life. Okay, we get that. When they're little, they suckle. They're roly-poly, they're so fat they just grunt, and they sleep there. In the beginning of their little life, everyone agrees there. Nothing's wrong with that. Now, it gets interesting. You see, human milk oligosaccharide is a trend in infant formula, most recently. That makes sense because modern mothers are busy. No one is just sitting at home in the same manner. New mothers are running businesses. The kids have au pairs. These moms have to go. The breast milk is in the refrigerator and now the large companies can mimic complex carbohydrates. Okay? So anyway, this study from the University of Illinois shows the complex carbohydrate supplements mimic human breast milk and acts like prebiotics. Okay, so let's stop right there. Do we all know what prebiotics are? Okay, this is the nutritional parts of our discussion I mentioned to you in the beginning of the video, if you remember. Anyhow, prebiotics. Prebiotics are a type of fiber that the human body cannot digest, okay? You are going to eat this so that something else in the body can go to town on that. Make sense? Okay. Another way to describe a prebiotic to you is this. A prebiotic is a compound inside of a food that induces, or in other words, it causes the growth or an activity of a beneficial microorganism, such as a bacteria and a fungi, all right? 
Now, before this, the research had not been extended to pet products, even though the milk oligosaccharides occur in all mammals. Who knows this name? First name Kraft, last name Heinz. Kraft Heinz. Well, they did a study too. At the time, they began looking into things they did not find out much. You know, they didn't find that much out there in terms of established research. Just one for a lion, one for a clouded leopard, and one for a dog. Now, theirs is really the first comprehensive study on the matter, which is the characterization of dog and cat oligosaccharides. Alrighty now, without saying too much more about the differences between cat milk and dog milk and how much more complex feline milk is than canine milk is and you'll get the picture here right which is if this process works for human beings it should work for the animals too I couldn't believe researchers took it there, so I, I peaked a bit. <sighs> the Oxford Academic Journal of Animal Science wrote a doozy of an abstract. In a nutshell, if you will break down milk oligosaccharides used in, let's say, dog food, feed it to the dogs and wait to see what happens, then what you're going to get is increased palatability. They like the taste. And then when you collect fresh fecal samples for the purposes of tracking macronutrient digestibility, you'll see results supporting the fact that GNU100 is not mutagenic. There's no cytotoxicity or chromosome damage, okay? So for that, you'll have to look at the stool in the cell micronucleus test. And finally, all of the dogs were healthy and had no signs of GI intolerance or illness. In other words, all diets were well accepted and food intake fecal characteristics, metabolite concentrations, and macronutrient digestibilities were not altered. Ultimately, all of this, all the results support the safety of GNU100 for the inclusion of canine diets. That's recent. Now, that's a mouthful, isn't it? I'm telling you, pet parents, you have to read the labels on these foods. Kraft Heinz is huge. I mean, huge. I looked everywhere for a dog food with this new ingredient called GNU 100, and I did not come up with one anywhere. So, so far, the jury is still out on this one. Here's the thing. Kraft Heinz has been stirring the pot on this ever since 2019, but the big news is really from just this week. That's right. At the time of this recording, this news is as fresh as can be. I'd say no more than 10 days. Now, every dog is different. Most dogs have to be weaned early. They can't go on suckling three or four weeks that's it then you start to cut them off that'll take a few more weeks basically but for practical purposes it has to be done switching to solid food modifies the enzymes in their gut so once the dog stops drinking milk from its mother it doesn't require any other drink other than water this is true for puppies and adult dogs. The study was conducted with adult dogs, okay, versus those studies they did with the human milk oligosaccharide product 
which is clearly made for and fed to infants. Now let's stop here a moment because this is a lot of information, but this is important because March is Poison Prevention Awareness Month for animals. Is milk bad for dogs? Can dogs drink milk? For Sophia, my mini schnauzer, heck no. She's lactose intolerant. To drink milk, the dog needs an enzyme that breaks down the sugars in the milk. As they mature, they lose this. They're incapable of breaking down these milk sugars effectively the way they did as pups. What happens if we pet parents push this envelope and give them milk anyway? Diarrhea, yeast infection, skin irritation, redness, itchy ears, vomiting, and then if you continue and don't recognize the signs, obesity, pancreatitis, what am I saying? Basically, don't do it. Don't feed the dog dairy. But it's your dog and you have to do what you want. Some dogs can handle the dairy in small amounts. An occasional piece of cheese or licking ice cream if their stomach can tolerate milk. That should not hurt anything. It should not be an issue. Alrighty. If you're still here and you learned something new, like the video and subscribe. It's time for From Our Table. Guess who is into the dog food game? Amazon. That's right. After my last really expensive pick, I went on the hunt for a budget-friendly meal that would also be good for Sophia's health. I fed her a raw diet product, but I wanted to keep her with the fish oils. I found several, but Amazon's salmon and brown rice recipe wag won out over the competition for this round of From Our Table. Weighing in at five pounds and priced at just $7.79, Amazon Prime delivered with a quickness Sophia's food supply. What she got was a crunchy dry meal that's compared with a very popular names. They are Candy Day, Blue Buffalo, Merrick, and neutral. Here's Sophia's empty. It's not bad. The packaging is sleek and neat, practical. It's airtight from the Amazon factory. It's in a very tough polymer. Things I didn't like, the color of it, it stuck to Sophia's molars, right? So on the inner molar, she's got some dark staining there we're gonna to have to brush her molars and her teeth but we're doing that immediately after the video so again if you're still here at the end thanks for watching I'm Jacqueline from the blog the doggy perspective.com stay with us to the end please be sure to like comment and subscribe and remember March is poison awareness month I'm Jacqueline from the blog, thedoggyperspective.com, and we'll see you in the next video.